Bill Walton, former NBA star and sports commentator, dies at 71. Welcome back, sports fans. Today, we dive into the incredible life and legacy of one of basketball's most dynamic and beloved figures, Bill Walton. A towering presence both on and off the court, Walton's journey from a high school phenom in San Diego to a two-time NBA champion is nothing short of legendary. Standing at 6 feet 11 inches tall, Walton was more than just a basketball player, he was a force of nature. From leading UCLA to multiple NCAA championships to dominating the NBA with the Portland Trailblazers and Boston Celtics, Walton's career was marked by breathtaking highs and, yes, some heart-wrenching lows. But Bill Walton was not just a player, he was a personality. Known for his colorful commentary and infectious enthusiasm, he became an Emmy-winning broadcaster, sharing his love for the game with millions. And let's not forget his deep roots in San Diego, where he became a local hero, a passionate advocate for the homeless, and a familiar face at community events and concerts. Join us as we celebrate the life of a true basketball legend, the man who transformed the center position and brought a whole lot of heart and soul to the sport we love. This is the story of Bill Walton, a giant in every sense of the word. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives into the world's greatest athletes. Bill Walton, a two-time NBA champion and San Diego native, passed away on Monday following a prolonged battle with cancer, the league announced. He was 71. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver confirmed the Hall of Fame Center's death in a statement mourning the legendary player, noting he was surrounded by his family when he passed. Walton was named Most Valuable Player multiple times throughout his decade-long college sports and professional basketball career, which began with the Portland Trailblazers in 1974 and ended with the Boston Celtics in 1988. He also spent time with the then San Diego Clippers, his hometown team, before moving to the Celtics. However, he sustained several injuries that kept him off the court for most of his six-year tenure on the team. While his NBA career was mired with injuries, he nonetheless was able to lead the Portland Trailblazers to an NBA championship in 1977 and helped the Boston Celtics earn their 1986 championship, where he played as a backup center behind Robert Parrish. After retiring as a player, the UCLA alumni pivoted to sports commentary for college basketball with ESPN, NBC Sports, and CBS Sports. He earned an Emmy Award for his colorful analysis in 1991. In the statement, Silver remembered Walton as a one-of-a-kind basketball player who transformed the position of center during his time on the court, contributions to the game that were enshrined in history when he was inducted into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in 1993 and National Collegiate Basketball Hall of Fame in 2006. His unique all-around skills made him a dominant force at UCLA and led to an NBA regular season and finals MVP, two NBA championships and a spot on the NBA's 50th and 75th anniversary teams, Silver said. Bill then translated his infectious enthusiasm and love for the game of to broadcasting, where he delivered insightful and colorful commentary which entertained generations of basketball fans. He was a giant in San Diego, reactions pour in for Bill Walton's death. But what I will remember most about him was his zest for life, he continued. He was a regular presence at league events, always upbeat, smiling ear to ear and looking to share his wisdom and warmth. Walton, who grew up in La Mesa and attended Helix High School, resided in San Diego with his family up until his death. Standing 6 feet, 11 inches tall, he set a record for the number of jump shot attempts in his high school career, completing 78.3% as a senior during the 1969-1970 school year, still the national all-time record. Later in his life, Walton was a staple figure at local sporting events and concerts. Just last month, the Jamban fanatic was spotted at Neil Young and the Crazy Horse's San Diego stop at Viejas Arena. His home near Balboa Park became a community landmark for some, while others would keep their eyes peeled to catch him traveling around the city on his bike. I love my bike. I live to ride and ride to live, Walton famously said of his enthusiasm for cycling. For locals, he also earned particular notoriety for his community work with the YMCA of San Diego County and Lucky Duck Foundation, a nonprofit dedicated towards helping unhoused residents of San Diego County. Bill, Walton has left an incredible mark on San Diego by being a passionate force for boundless generosity and unwavering determination to inspire those around him. Our Y team is grateful to have had his light shined upon us, Todd Tibbetts, YMCA of San Diego County CEO, said in a statement. Walton was also known to challenge local officials who deemed were not doing enough on the issue of homelessness in the city. In recent months, this even led him to endorse a challenger in the race for City of San Diego Mayor, 
San Diego police officer and political newcomer Larry Turner, in a rebuke of the incumbent Todd Gloria who is seeking a second term. Rest in peace to the generous and kind Bill Walton, a cherished friend, mentor and supporter, Turner said in a statement. Bill was the kind of man who would support his friends with everything in his heart. A legend, but so humble. My thoughts are with Lori and the rest of Bill's wonderful family today. Gloria also released a statement earlier today, sending condolences to Walton's family. San Diego mourns the loss of the legendary Bill Walton today, he said. He was a towering figure in basketball and broadcasting as well as a civic icon who loved his hometown. Our city's thoughts are with his wife, Lori, and the entire Walton family. Godspeed, Bill.